Hi guys, Savio here from Blender Bros. In this video, we're gonna be creating a hard surface shape that flows from a circular to a square. We're gonna be using Sub D for that. Let's go. So, now there are many ways of doing this, guys, but I think um, this one I'll show you is probably the easiest one. So, let's grab a cylinder and we're going to convert this from 32 uh, segments to 24. It's gonna be a bit easier to work with. When you work with sub D, you wanna go easy on the number of segments or verts or squares, whatever, because it's easier to work and easier to manipulate with the shape when you have fewer uh, elements. So here we're going to extend this on Y axis and we're gonna to go to edit mode, control R and split that loop into two or maybe three and now we need to what we need to do is we need to make sure that this circle flows into a square so we need to convert that into a square so we're going to be using machine tools for that and uh, i want you to download machine tools link in the video description and add-on is free and here if you're going to go to machine tools uh, you just need to enable align pi okay and save preferences now uh, grab this vert here, control click this one. Uh, actually, this one it needs to be, you know, um, needs to be in the same line. And then we're going to align all these verts to the last one selected. So Alt A and just move your mouse to the bottom. It's a pie menu, it's very quick and it's view based. So, the you know, it depends how you're looking at the object, okay, from which angle. Here we're going to select this, control select that, Alt A and align to the right. So uh, Alt A and move to the right. Now we're going to symmetrize this with mesh machines. So Alt X to the right, Alt X to the bottom, and you're good to go. Now, if you would like to learn more about modeling in Blender, we have a fantastic course for you. It's free. It's Jumpstart Hard Surface Modeling in Blender. It contains uh, three chapters, and the first one is Introduction, which you can learn everything you need to know about UI menus and not the bullshit stuff, just the stuff you really need. So it will save you a shit ton of time of looking through YouTube and searching for stuff that you know most likely you'll never be using. So this is condensed information about how to set up your Blender, how to use the main tools, how to to start creating really cool models there's a molding section rendering section and also editing section which means you're going to be able to not only model something render it but also edit it and put it on your portfolio to start building your reputation link to the course is in the video description grab it like i said it's free what we need to do here we need to make sure that this um, transition here between the circle and square is smooth so I'll click that and we're going to sort of control B that and create maybe, you know, maybe, maybe three loops is fine. You know, you don't need more than that. Here we're going to grab that and S Y zero to flex it and here too, S Y zero and here too, Alt click, Alt click and S Y zero. Okay. Um, this one should be fine. We don't need this one really. Uh, so dissolve it. Cool. And now we can run sub or control 2. Now when you do that, you can clearly see that we got a problem or a few problems, mostly on the ends of this, because, uh, you know, these are massive angles, right? So what you can do technically, you could remove this. So remove the face and alt click here in vert mode, control F and grid fill. All right. And then you could just use this option here to spin it around. To make it flow there's gonna be quads but to be honest guys you don't need quads here you just need the face and you need to insert that face so just press i for insert and you're good to go right click this mesh to shade it smooth so you can actually see what's happening here the same thing just press f and insert it and you're good to go all right and you got this shape flowing from circle to a square so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use hard ops to apply crease to edges gy and move this one here shift alt click this one q and mark and this will mark these two as sharp now you can clearly see there is some kind of a distortion here so if i'm going to go to a different map mud cap you will see that and uh, there is a uh, clearly a distortion here in this area what's causing this is this massive angle is sort of being pulled over this uh, beverly uh, area here and this creates a distortion so what you can do is inset that a little bit deeper and uh, you know you're gonna fix that so there you go easy peasy right and now every single edge like this needs a support from each side so you really even though if you have crease you see that 
I can still flex it a little bit with a, with a you know additional edge. You want that um, if you really want to have sharp edges here, so you want to do that, okay? And you can keep modeling here, no problem. You know, insert it, extrude it, scale it, insert it again, and all that. You know, extrude it, and then Control B to um, to um, let me just. Uh, scale it from the front like this there we go and then inside it one more time um to clean it up and now what you need to do and you need to you know grab all these loops here right? so control b you can grab a loop in here control b right and then one more here we do need a loop here you can see there's a distortion here uh in this area uh you could technically have a loop here in the in a uh in a in the middle uh probably one loop here like this wouldn't be a bad idea what we could do is we could extend this or uh, we could do the same thing so control plus and then uh, we're going to go to select loops and boundary loops and select this one in the middle too and Q mark and we're going to GY this one outside and you can see now we got this nice chamfer going around we can insert it one more time to give it a bit more um, you know cleaner shading here around and we need to do the same thing so we need to you know grab a loop here and grab one here and control b and split that one and you're good to go you got a very clean uh, bevel here now on top of that what you can do because we're working with hard ups you have the uh, luxury of your modifiers being sorted automatically so technically what we could do we could have some fun here with um you know with bullions and it will look clean because hard ups is literally holding the shape for us so if you wanted to uh, create some crazy shapes here you know you could all right so you could do that and you can see it's actually flowing into a square wall we kind of overdid it right now but what we could do is create like a really uh, tiny cut here in the middle like that and there you go and you could have some kind of a piston inside here whatnot there's a bit of a shading distortion here but this could be very easily fixed by you know grabbing a loop and uh introducing a loop here and some loops here as well like this and uh the shit is gonna get fixed now if you know if you want to apply this and you want to play with sub d be my guest i can't be bothered this is good enough if i apply this i can always use a mesh machine offset cut to fix this edge it's not a big deal uh, it's very easily done but anyway guys this is how you create this kind of a shape that flows from a circle into a perfect square and um, you just use sub d and then on top of it you can easily use hard ups and if this is a piece for um you know this is not gonna work for gaming because it's just way too much geometry but this would work for your portfolio for concepting and all that so if you need something like that this is one of the ways of doing it thanks for watching see you in the next one